what do you see as your ways? I mean, do you, how do you, are you worried about attracting talent or retaining talent? I mean, do you have anything that you're having to do with your existing workforce and as you grow? I think the attracting talent is going to become a little bit easier. Okay. That, just because, um, you know, prior to the existing markets, and this is just my personal belief, I think it was a, a very employee driven market. You right. Know, you had the whole remote work, um, you know, culture happening, uh, you know, companies were having to compete. Uh, for all these lucrative offers, you know, the employees are getting, they're getting multiple offers. Uh, whereas now, uh, given the, the, the climate, I'm willing to bet that it's going to shift to more of an employer market. So we're now people, um, they're not coming to the table with as many offers. They are coming to the table because they want a job or need a job you know, to cover the cost of inflation, a variety of things. So I think that is shifting. So I think attracting talent is going to be a little bit easier, especially if you have a good company, good mission, you know, working with good people. All right. that. And, and um, not to say that we want to get away from the remote culture. We love, you know, that that culture. Um, but the the other thing is uh, encouraging our, our people team to think about, you know, how can we start playing defense? And what I mean by that is retaining employees. Right. Um, you know, sometimes it's cheaper to do what it takes to keep, you know, people happy. And I would rather take that bet any day uh, i'm willing to do what it takes to make people happy because you know people being happy ultimately trickles down increases productivity and increases right. customer satisfaction that's absolutely mm -hmm. right 